Very good, though. Yeah. Good movie. Um, I also watched that goddamn fucking Jesus camp. I watched one of those religious evangelist uh, shows on HBO On Demand. It was a real short one. And then there's another one called Jesus Camp. It's been out for a while. I think 2008, 2007, something like that. And uh, wow. It is complete child abuse. It is It is nothing but hysterically crying children based on their parents throwing guilt at them, uh, filling them with uh, misinformation or, or their own beliefs. Um, and people will say, you know, hey, if you got a kid and you want them to believe what you believe in, then that's all they're doing. But this goes further. This I almost felt like. It was the same analogy as if, well, the parents drink, so give the kid right, booze. Right, right, right. You know, or the parents are doing heroin, so give the kid heroin. It's it's so detrimental to these kids emotionally what they're doing. It is complete and total cultish brainwashing. I don't even care what the background is. Don't call and say it's Christianity and it's based on this. I'm not going to argue Christianity with anybody today. Whatever it is, whatever belief it is. If someone like this fat cunt Language. that is that is uh, running this uh, a kid's camp for Jesus was uh, whatever religion it was or whatever she's trying to sell. If she's trying to fucking sell her own fucking brand of religion, it's a cult. I'll do what you want me to do. I'll say what you want me to say. These are little kids just being brainwashed. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Name. Amen. And the kids just start crying because they... If they... you don't open your mouth, the Holy Spirit can't talk. All right, now it's I all guilt. to raise yeah. your hands and we're going to pray in tongues. Hallelujah. In Let's tongues. Do it. Oh, we love you, Jesus. So, koho rashada kamala busida. What? Mecca leka hai, mecca hane ho. Mecca leka hai, mecca chane ho. Let's talk in tongues. <laughs> <laughs> Heal him, heal him, heal him, heal him. Don't stop. This is the greatest day of your life. Next to the day you got to This is creepy. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I feel like this at regular church, though. It, there's a there's a, a cult a, feel to just going to church in general. Any religion will give you that cult feeling. Oh, yeah, man. But this is complete and total like fucking Waco right. shit brainwashing. Just completely over the top. Over the top crazy shit. I wish we had clips of this. Warlocks are enemies of God. See, that's why you shouldn't watch Harry Potter. And I don't care what kind of hero they are. They're an enemy of God. And had it been in the Old Testament, Harry Potter would have been put to death. So would you, you fat slob. No, what a fat stick in the mud in an airplane hanger. Yeah. Why are you ruining Harry Potter for the kids? She's fat. That's because, all they got. Yeah, they're you wizards. Don't make heroes out of warlocks. Wizardry. Wizardry. This fat this lady hates me. <laughs> she has banished and me. And holiness, and you're going to serve the Lord all the days of your life. Oh, God. She, this camp, she just yells at these kids. things over you. I believe this so much that I have given my whole life to see to it that you get there. Yeah, she's given her whole life because she's nothing. Yeah. She is a nothing piece of shit. She is. If she if she was getting a deep dick in, she, she wouldn't give a shit about this. There's some kids here. You know how bad oh, her leg must smell? Look at, look at what she says. Church all the time. You go to church. But you're one thing when you're at church and you're another thing when you're at school with your friends. You're a phony and a hypocrite. She's guilting these you kids. They start crying. You do things you shouldn't do. You talk dirty just like all the other kids talk dirty. And it's time to clean up your act. Come up here and get washed. What? Just with a, a bottle of water. With a lame bottle because of water? Yeah. With the kids the crying? Yeah, the kids are all crying if now. that's you, put your hands up here. This is cold Whoa, shit. Then she just dumps hands? water over their hands. and a dumb Nessa water. Yeah. Or Nestle. It's exactly insanity. Name it. Name it out loud. Name it. What do you need? Someone's writing. She uses donuts for communion. Obviously. <laughs> yeah. Big fat broad. At the beginning. Thank one, you, Spectro. Uh, during one of her bullshit sessions, she's saying like people are uh, fat and lazy, no and they won't even give up a meal to no fast. She's a fat fucking slob. She never passed up a meal. No. 
that disgusting mess. And just to see these kids, like, they upset the children. And they start talking about abortion with them. And, like, you know, let the kid be a fucking kid, for fuck's sake. What the fuck, man? Jesus would have hated this. Oh, I know. He would have fucking hated this lady. He would have smited the parents. These kids. Smited them. He was a fucking maverick. These kids are, like, 10, 11 years old, man. Yeah, some of them younger. like Probably even younger. You're going to be a... Uh, Price was a hippie. This fruit uh, gets up and He was a fucking shit, hippie. Yeah. He, he was a fucking liberal yeah. man. But he was. Man. He, had he was long, a hipster. Long fucking hair. Yeah. Gave shit to other people. He washed a leper's feet. I think everyone had long hair, though. Yeah. The Romans really didn't. Have a super cuts. Yeah, they didn't really have oh, people cutting hair. They much. had a Caesar hairdo. Yeah, no, he true. was, uh, I think, rebellious <laughs> against that part of, of uh, the society. Okay, yeah. I apologize. I don't but know. I mean, his yeah. disciples, I guess, all that. I don't know. I went. But he was a hippie. I was, it, it, I, I was heading in this direction with fucking religion. That's crazy. I went wow. to like religious retreats and. Oh, did you? Uh -huh. I had religious fucking class every oh, Tuesday night boy. at at some miserable house. Really? At a could, house? Yeah, where oh. you could tell like the couple they were just miserable. Ugh. Like they don't look like they have a happy marriage, and they're going to teach us about the Lord. They were they were teaching about and evolution. Then, uh, and, and I went to religious uh, camp too. Did you? Yeah. Was that like that? Uh, you know, no, no, hands up no, cry. never that bad, but I, yeah. I, I was done. I was so done when it was time to make my own decision. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that's and my what parents I weren't really religious either. I mean, they were when they were growing up, but they kind of turned their backs too. I, you know, it's horrible, but I love when the, these kids grow up and get into their teen years and just fucking rebel. Yeah, of course they do. They turn to drugs and fucking and just tell their parents to shove it up their ass. I knew a family that was hardcore religious. I mean, the parents were crazy about church and everything. And all the daughters turned out yep. whores. They loved doing drugs and fucking. And uh, the mother and father just oblivious to it. Of course they are. Wouldn't even accept it. Thought everything was hunky-dory. But watching that was just brutal. It was like, what, what are they doing to these kids? And then they'd show them at home because they're all like 75% of homeschooled children are these evangelicals and because wow. uh, th they don't want to send them to school to learn about this phoniness that is, you know, science and math and things like that. It's all about God and, and they're teaching uh, creationism instead of uh, evolution and, and uh, th they just blatantly lie to the kids. They, they lie to them. They, they the, make them fools. I saw, I watched something, we got, I got home yesterday, uh, part one of seven, it was a debate between uh, Dan, you might be able to get the names. This guy Dawkins versus this woman Wendy something. I cannot remember her name. She's a creationist. Wendy? <clears throat> and she's not a dumb woman. She's not a scientist. She's obviously... But to watch the debate was annoying because some things she was saying... Like, she said something about why do people attack... Like, she was talking about how they, a lot of people attack the creationists. And she's right. Like, a lot of people do attack them for their beliefs instead of addressing... Any evidence that they don't have, they attack the creationists. Uh -huh. And she made a good point there. But every point this guy ha had to her scientifically, she was just ignoring. It was really weird to watch. It like, is. And it, it, they, it, they do ignore. And, and we saw yesterday when we dealt with that guy on the phone. Uh, they will ignore your facts. She was saying, like, what about the link between this and that? Mm. And he said, well, and he gave a bunch of, he's British. He was like, you know, homo sapiens, homo erectus. He gave a bunch of sapiens. examples. What, what's so big? Of people he thought were like li of, of of links in the uh, the DNA and evolution, and she's like, "Well, where's the evidence?" He's like, "Well, these bones are in the museum," and she's like, "No, they're not." And he's like, "Yes, that, they are." That's exactly what they say. They no. are in the museum. Well, I've like, seen. Of course, they're that's, there. That's like arguing with truthers. Same she, shit. Yep. It, but it was really weird. Yeah, Richard Dawkins, his name is, and her name is Wendy Wright. Thanks, Danny. She she just she has like the wide eyed look, and again, not a dumb woman, but she kept going back to all theories that are not creation that are based in science treat their individuals horribly she's like we believe human beings should be treated with respect whether yeah. they have value to society and she all right that's her belief but it's like her belief is so invested in how human beings she should be treated she was allowing that to skewer her her, her view of the facts does that make any sense yeah, like yeah. because she kept going back to that about societies that were not based in creationism were brutal to their people which is ridiculous. Yeah. I mean, even if it's true, who cares? Just that, that doesn't that doesn't change the facts. You're not you're not setting your child up to. Uh, although they look at this world and just look at it like uh, it's a temporary little layover yeah. for you to worship uh, from the moment you're born or born again yep. to the moment you drop dead. Your whole job uh. on this planet is just to worship 
for the the chance of getting you know eternal life in paradise. Uh, so they just look at us being here on Earth as nothingness, like this is bullshit. And meanwhile, I see it as uh, go for the gusto yeah. because uh, you know when you once you shut your fucking eyes for the dirt nap, you're done. Well, the fact that I just hate the way they pervert. I'd be happy if I if I had to talk to God right now. I could live with my life. Yeah, yeah, I could. It's like you made you could me plead your case. Fuck yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we could all. He plead can, our what case. he cares about my dirty language. There's wormholes in space. <laughs> he cares that I said cunt. Come on, <laughs> stop it, you <laughs> fucking yeah, asshole. The interpretation no. is all wrong. Oh, they're so why, why are we doing religious shit all of a sudden? You watching all this religious stuff it every was night? Just, it, it was creeping me out. What are you uh, going to be a born again or something? Yeah, I'm, th- I'm really thinking. Are you doing of some being research? Born again Satanist. <laughs> No, two, two days just, in a row with this religious stuff. It was one uh, one show that I watched on HBO, and then it, uh, some people uh, tweeted and said that I should check out this other one, Jesus uh, Camp. Yeah, Jesus Camp, and it was just uh, it was more brutal than the first one. They really got a little more in depth into this fucking slob. Yeah. Well, thank God there's only a small percentage of America that is Oof. doing this. <laughs> the Midwest is the Midwest is wrought with this shit. Yeah, it really is I amazing. Know, I know it is. The radio stations out there, the giant crosses that are all, all over the Midwest. These churches that are thirty five thousand seat arenas. You ever see Religious? No, I haven't seen that one. Yeah, you should watch that. Yeah, like Bill Maher. He mocks it pretty good, and he sh- and he shows all those big fucking crosses and stuff. I still have a hard time watching Bill Maher. I yeah, can't. I, understand. I have such a grudge against that fuck. I understand, but he does a very good job with that movie. He really does. Yeah, yeah, it's worth checking out if you're on this religious kick of yours. I was <laughs> just watching a few yeah, documentaries. I, he, I, I, yeah, I, I understand politically, you might yeah. not like him, but I think you would like this movie. 